We're back with another one. We're back, we're back, we're back. Um, we're back. Right now, you are now tuned in. Pink Christy. All right, y'all. Hey guys, we're back with another video. Yeah, as you guys can tell by the title, today we're gonna be doing like our week zero of Air Force boot camp. But we're gonna actually go a little bit before week week zero, and we're gonna do like our in processing, maps, swearing in, all that good stuff. The airport, and then week zero. All right. So first things first, we're gonna talk about. Well, I joined. No, I didn't join. I shipped out. I shipped out for basic on May 22nd, just so you guys know. And then I graduated on July 13th. All of this of 2023. Okay. So, um, all right. First, I want to talk about your options you have with your ASVAB. So you have the option to either take the PICAT. You have the option to take the actual ASVAB the day you ship out. Or you can take it like ahead of time and ship out at a later date. So I went with the PICAT um, just because my MEPS was like pretty far. So if I wanted to take my ASVAB at MEPS, like it would have been like three, four chips, you know, like back there, go back home, but you know, like that just would have been too much. So I take the PICAT at home, but the only thing with the PICAT is you have to take a verifying test um, all right, guys, so I want to go a little more, more depth when you do, like, about the podcast. So when you take your podcast, it's your at-home, like, online ASVAB. But you do have to take a verifying test at MEPS. And what that test is is basically, like, 10 to 15 questions of your podcast that you took at home. And they're just making sure that, like, you didn't cheat, you're still getting it right, and this and this and that. If you do end up failing your verifying test, it's going to shoot you into a full-blown ASVAB. Um, that didn't happen to me, but it happened to a girl while I was in there. And she was like, she raised her hand. She was like, why did you just give me uh, this and this amount of more questions? And the lady told her, she was like, yeah, you failed your verifying test. So she had to take the whole ASVAB again. Um, so yeah, just make sure when you take your PICAT, don't cheat. You know, you don't like who wants to take it all over again. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just want to go a little more in depth. Back to the video. So I took my pie cat. And if I'm looking over here, it's because um, I have notes on my iPad. But yeah, so I took my pie cat on January 3rd. And then my first MEPS visit was January 23rd. Um, there, I verified my PICAT. Um, I also did my physical. So I did the body physical, you know, check down there, check back there. Um, she's gonna check like, she's gonna like feel under your chin. Um, if you have a ponytail in, she's gonna tell you to take it out and she's gonna like feel your scalp. Um, you're gonna get your eyes checked. So, you're going to have to, like, look through this thing. He's going to be like, which one looks different? And what color is this one? And stuff like that. Um, you're going to give blood. Well, not give blood, but you're going to get your blood drawn. You're going to get a urine test. And, and you're going to get a breathalyzer. And before all of this happens, I, need, I forgot to say, um, there's, like, a... You know the security thing i don't know what it's called but the thing you walk through so you gotta like take your belt off don't wear any jewelry any accessories stuff like that um you're gonna take your belt off your shoes i think and yeah um you can't have your phone so you're gonna have to like put all of your belongings in like this big locker room that's locked up um so nobody can get in it without the people opening that door for them um but yeah so then they're gonna bring you in this room and they're gonna be like don't lie like tell the truth we already know everything we're trusting your honesty here like tell us everything we want to know answer all the questions truthfully okay um but yeah so then they're gonna do a, a breathalyzer and like i said your urine test you're gonna get blood you're gonna check your eyes they're gonna check your hearing oh my gosh y'all 
put the hearing. <laughs> you're gonna go in this big box, right? You're gonna put these headphones on, you're gonna sit down, he's gonna be like, click this button every time you hear something. So at first, I'm like, okay, it's easy, you know, beep, 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 you know? And then, like, I just start hearing ringing, and I'm like, is this part of the test, or am I like, have I been in here so long that I'm just hearing stuff now? You know, and then for a minute, I didn't even hear nothing at all. And I was like, should I just click the button? I'm just click the button, you know? <laughs> so I was like, I was like mad worried about that part. But, I mean, it was cool. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it, like, physical part. They're going to check your height. They're going to check your weight. Um, and then you're going to go in this room with about, like, three or four of the same gender. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much, but I know I had, like, four people with me. You're going to go in there. You're going to strip to your bra and underwear. Um, the, a lady's gonna come in, she's gonna be like bend down, touch your toes. I'm guessing she's checking like the curvature of your back. Um, you're gonna have to like do the quad stretch where you pull your like your heel to your quad or your butt. Um, she's gonna look at the bottom of your feet. She's also checking like your balance and stability. Um, what else? You gotta like hold your arms out straight, turn them over. Um, oh. Ain't got a duck walk. The thing people worry about most, and I'm telling you right now, stop tripping. Like, I, I know, like, I was worried too, but, like, it's nothing, like, crazy like everybody made it out to be. Um, yeah, so that's that. I think that was all I did that time, that day at MEPS. And then my second and last time at MEPS, um, again, you gotta go through security. Um... Let me see. They're gonna check your height and your weight. And then they're gonna, they probably gonna provide lunch for you. For us, they had like the Subway, you know, like the catered little sandwiches, nothing crazy. I think it was like turkey cheese, a cookie. <laughs> Excuse me. A cookie, um, chips, and water. Um, and then they're gonna give you, after you swear in, I think it's after you swear in, you're gonna get your safety briefing. And that's like your, your travel briefing. They're gonna tell you how to get through the airport, what to do, maneuver the airport, um, how to do your tickets, how to check your bags, all this good stuff. Um, they're gonna give you your mail voucher. And I think on your voucher, it's $21. You can use it um, before you board your flight or after you get off, or if you have like a connecting flight, you can use it in between those you know, flights, that layover. Um, but for me, I went straight from, I want to say I flew out of Charlotte, but I cannot remember if I flew out of Charlotte or Raleigh. It was one of them, but it was a straight flight to Texas. So I just used my voucher before I got on that flight to Texas, but we'll talk about that more once I get to it. Um, but yeah, so they're going to give you your voucher. Um, they're going to give you like your, your plane ticket, your voucher, all that good stuff in a folder. They're going to give you, like, more information in your folder. Just make sure you keep everything, have everything put together. Because if you lose that stuff, like, they're, they're asking for it at boot camp. So, if you lose it, get ready to get chewed out. And you just got there. But, you know, whatever. Um, oh, I forgot to say. Day before that day at MEPS, <laughs> I stayed in the hotel. Hopefully that made sense. But I stayed in the hotel. Um, I think we had, like, a night briefing at 7.30. To be up and they was telling us to like be up at 4 30 this and this and that or be downstairs by 4 30 be ready to leave eat breakfast da 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 so yeah it was nothing crazy um yeah it's nothing crazy they just gave us a briefing that boom you was free for the rest of the night just make sure you're downstairs on time and yeah and then all that stuff happened that mess with the voucher height weight all that good stuff um okay so i got to the airport on may 23rd I really hope this is making sense, but yeah, I left my house on May 22nd, went to the hotel, woke up the next day, which was May 23rd, which I went to MEPS, that's where I swore in, got the mail voucher, got the travel voucher, got to the airport May 23rd, okay? So, boom, we, yeah, we took the shuttle, they gave us, a, they provided us a shuttle to the airport, and we got to the airport. We're checking our bags or whatnot well actually i didn't check my bag because i'm just that type of person like i want everything i want to have everything on me especially in this situation because say like your bag was to get lost 
you know like just imagine imagine that imagine your bag got lost at the air, through the airport or whatnot like i just no that's just too much right so i kept my bag on me but like the rest of my group well most of my group checked their bag so i'm just like with my group or whatnot um and then you're gonna go my bad then you're gonna go use your meal voucher do whatever y'all gonna do until that plane boards i remember i got like a sandwich and it was so nasty because i wasn't trying to eat nothing too heavy but like i was trying to make sure i ate good too so i was like a sandwich is like turkey cheese lettuce you know ranch tomato gotta be good right no so i was living off a of lemonade okay but it was cool um so yeah that happened and then time to board the flight so we were the flight um i didn't sleep on the wait did i sleep on the flight i might have slept on the flight but i can't remember it I don't know. Either way, get off the flight. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so we reached San Antonio. Um, we're at the airport. And we're, at this point, we're kind of just walking around, seeing what we find. We see this guy in a uniform, and we're like, that gotta be it. So it was like, line up. He wasn't screaming, but he was just like talking very loud. Um, but yeah, he told us to like line up, take out, I think it was like our ID and our social. And... Uh, yeah, he told us to take our phone, call our parents, tell them that we made it to the airport safely, turn off your phone, and put it in your backpack. And then he was like, go get on my bus, go, go, go. I'm going to say the airport was probably like a 20-minute drive from base. And we were on this bus, and we had this, like, cool black dude. He was super, super cool. He was giving us, like, words of motivation and stuff. And, like, I, now that I'm looking back, it was a bunch of people on their phone on that bus. And me over here being scared, I was like, oh, I'm not going to get on my phone. I don't got time to get in trouble. <laughs> Dude, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Um, okay, so boom, we pull up to basic. We pull up to boot camp. You know, you go through them gates, you're like, oh, shoot. This shit is about to get real. It's about to get real. So everybody getting their stuff together. We know we got our bags in our hand. Because, you know, you watching the videos, and you see the videos where they be like, get off my bus, get off my bus. So everybody's ready, we prep. A guy walks on our bus, he's like, all right, when I tell everybody stand up, stand up, and get off my bus. And I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, what? <laughs> this guy didn't scream, not one bit, okay? I'm just like, what is going on? Like, are they trying to trick us types? Like, what? So I'm like, hey, cool. So... We get off the bus, we got our bags, we're standing outside, he's like, all right, put down your bag, pick it up, put out your bag, pick it up. Mind you, like I said, he's not yelling, he's just talking a little loud, but it's calm. So we get inside, and that's the PRC. Um, That's called the PRC, and it has like an auditorium in it, and all that good stuff, I guess. So yeah, then he's gonna be like, if you play the instrument, I don't care how long, I don't care what instrument, raise your hand. So he's gonna go like one by one by those people that raise their hand. He's trying to figure out what they played and how long. Um, I think he turned down like most people that play piano and guitar, but I don't know. I I I played piano for like two weeks. Yes, I didn't raise my hand. But. Okay, so then you're gonna go into the auditorium, and this one I was like, okay, it gotta be getting real. Like this is it. This is it. We get in the auditorium. It's this girl, she like, all right, fill in from the back to the front, sit down, no talking, this and this and that. We're ready to give y'all a briefing. I don't want to hear a word. Don't open these totems yet, this and this and that. And I was like, what is going on? Like, like I'm over here chipping when it's like, girl, you better be happy these people ain't yelling. But like, I don't know, doing that much, like seeing all these videos where they yelling and stuff and they come here and they're not yelling. It was a little weird, but I was like, cool. So, um, so, so they're going to give you a briefing. They're going to be like, no talking, no phones. They give you this book bag. Um, they like put it on your chest, open all the zippers up. You're going to go through the line and people are going to be stuffing stuff in your book bag. Don't say a word. Don't say anything. This, this and that. And yeah. So you're going to go through there. You're going to do all that. I think you're getting like your... You're your ECWW, you're getting flip-flops, body wash, uh, shampoo, conditioner. I think it's like a two-in-one type thing. Um, a loofah. I 
I can't remember what else, but I think that that was pretty much it. So when you're sitting here in the silence, like you don't even know, but the person to your left and the person to your right and most of the people around you, those are your doormates. Those those people you're going to be with for seven and a half weeks. The girls that you're going to be with for all that time that you're in boot camp. And that's so crazy. Like, I didn't even notice that. I just thought it was just, you know, I was like, maybe they already got the dorms assigned, this and this and that, but no. But yeah, so, yeah, no talking. And for for the totem, uh, I'm pretty sure I had, like, spaghetti. I'm going to pull out my book in a little bit, uh, my journal that I wrote in while I was in boot camp. But, yeah, I had, like, spaghetti and stuff. They're gonna tell you not to eat the Skittles and don't drink the juice and you can't use the heating packet. Um, the heating packet is because, you know, you're under a roof, you're inside, so you can do that. You can't do that anyways. But for the Skittles and juice, I'm not really sure why they told us not to eat that. I don't know. Okay, y'all, so I have like my little journals that I did in boot camp. Um, so I put day one in boot camp. What we did, so 5.30, left the hotel to go to MEPS. 12.45, left MEPS to go to the airport. 310 we boarded um the airplane 5 30 arrived to texas six o'clock arrived at basic we had a briefing getting book bags i put mre that's how you know i didn't know what i was talking about girl that was not mre definitely told them uh put a rain jacket <laughs> that's your ecww uh and then i put in more and then okay i'm not gonna say that part because i'm about to get to that and then I put what I ate at MEPS. I had one bite of a Subway sandwich, chips, and a cookie. And then at the airport, I had not even half a sandwich. Uh, it was just not good. And I had lemonade. So for my MRE, I had cold spaghetti. I said ate like two or three bites. wasn't that bad. A cookie, actually kind of good, just hard. Peanuts, love them. Tortilla, what in the world, just plain wraps. <laughs> It was also a juice packet and Skittles, but we weren't allowed to have them. They really started, okay. So, boom, um, that's that. So, you have to wait for about 50 girls so you can leave that auditorium to go to your dorm. And I'll tell you, like, every hour we was only getting like seven girls. You knew the math, okay? So it's late at night, it's like one in the morning now. Um, I'm guessing like we got enough girls. So they were like, y'all stand up, go out that door. Your dorm instructor or dorm MTI is going to be out there. So you go outside and it's just people yelling. Okay. It's loud. It's like, come on, move, 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 move. I need you to move. They're yelling. They're going crazy. Okay. They're like, get over here. Get over here. They're like, line up this and this and that. So you lined up, you lined up with those girls. Um, <laughs> And I'm laughing now, but I was not laughing, okay? I was definitely like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, so um, you're gonna get in your line. They're gonna like, pick your bag up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. And you're just gonna do that over and over, and they're gonna make you use your left hand. Now to my left handed girlies, that's me, I, I was okay. It wasn't even a problem. But people was struggling for real, for real. They're just like, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Like 20,000 times, okay? Be ready. Might want to be practicing at home. Um, but yeah, so they're gonna do all of that. Um, I personally only have one bag, like a book bag at that. I have my basketball bag, which is like pretty big, pretty sturdy, but like it's a backpack. Um, I could just stuff a lot of stuff in there. People have full blown suitcases. Some people had like two suitcases, had a book bag and a suitcase, like just a bunch of stuff okay um so this is when they're going to teach you to do accountability go so <laughs> your mci is going to yell he's going to be like accountability go and everybody's going to be like he's going to be like when i say accountability go you say accountability go accountability go accountability go that's how it's going to sound um so when you say accountability go you're going to drop to winnie y'all going to keep practicing that over and over outside on rocks with whatever you got on okay so he's like accountability go accountability go yeah you drop 20 and then uh he's gonna teach you i think it's like accountability go 
Okay, so at this point, you don't have numbers yet because you're not in your flight. So he's going to call you by your last name. Um, he's going to be like, Trini Brooks. Oh, that's my girl. He's going to be like, Trini Brooks. She's going to be like, Trini Brooks here, Sajet. So when he calls her name, you're going to stand up. And then you're going to say, Trini Brooks here, Sajet. So he's going to be like, accountability go, accountability go. Trini Baby, Trini Baby here, Sajet. You know, like, all that good stuff. All right. So that's going to happen. Um, he's going to tell you how to do that. Y'all going to do it over and over and over again until everybody gets it right. And y'all going to go through y'all whole flight or your whole dorm. Okay? A lot. So, like I said, it's dark outside. So they gave us these flashlights in our book bags. So you had to pull them out. Everybody's didn't even work. Mine didn't work. Okay? So most of the time, we were just in the dark following the person in front of us. Um... So, yeah, they're going to walk out to your dorms. Girls, they're going to be living in the third and fourth floor, most likely. We had to walk up a bunch of stairs. And this is where it came in. I was glad I had my little one book bag. Because that, oh, a suitcase, two suitcases. No, that would have been too much. So, I mean, I mean, I was straight, you know. It wasn't too, too hard. But, yeah. Um, We were dorm three by two. Three by one. I think it was three Bravo one. Yeah, we went through three Bravo one, so floor three, stairwell Bravo, dorm two. Um, so boom, he's gonna open the door or she. Um, I had uh two females and one male, so they're gonna open the door and they're gonna be like, go to a bed, go to a bed, move, 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 move. You know, they're yelling at you. You're running to a bed. You get to that bed, look around. Those little, like, four, five girls that's all beside you or around you, those are going to be your girlies, okay? Well, most likely. Those are my girlies, okay? Um, but, yeah, you just don't know that at the time. So, this is when they teach you how to stand at attention and how to give your reporting statement. So, you're going to be like, oh, and they're teaching you your dorm, not your flight, but your squadron. Because we didn't get our flights until the next day, I think. So, they're going to teach you how to stand at attention, and they're going to teach you a report statement. So, they're going to be like, so, say your last name was Brooks. They're going to be like, wait, what's the report statement? Sergeant, Sergeant, Chaney Paley reports his order. Oh, it's going to be like, Sergeant, Chaney Paley reports his order. Okay, that's going to be your uh, report statement while you're at the position of attention. Sergeant, Chaney Paley reports his order. And then they're going to teach you your flight. So he's gonna, not your flight, your dorm. Like, your dorm, three by one, one say it after me. So y'all get it, y'all good, three by one, one. He's gonna like, your squadron, 323rd Mustang. 323rd Mustang, 323rd Mustang, shout out to y'all. But, um, yeah. So he's just gonna say that over and over again. He's gonna be like, what squadron are we? <laughs> Everybody gonna be like, ah, ah, ah. Like, nobody's like, obtaining everything he's telling you. It's going out the one ear, coming out the other, okay? So it's gonna take you a while to get it, but you'll get it eventually. Um, and then, yeah, okay, I think so that was it for that night. Is that and they, then they he's gonna tell you how to jump in the shower and get in the bed. Night. Night. Um, it was just basically to tell them that we are safe. And also, um, this night too, we did. They did like give us a Ziploc bag and little tags, and we had to like write our name, our laundry tag, and. Uh, yeah, and then you would like just put your phone in there and then they took our phone. So boom. Now yeah, yeah, you're gonna get in the shower, lights out. This like I would say like nobody cares. <laughs> and I know like all the videos that you're probably watching before you ship out, everybody's saying nobody cares and you probably like, girl, people care. No, nobody cares, literally. Like at first, people gonna be stalling around, like, uh, but after after a minute, everybody gonna be stripping booty butt naked, okay? <laughs> and y'all gonna be in the shower, and nobody gonna be looking at you. And if they are, that's weird. But yeah, nobody nobody cares. Um, make sure you use your shower shoes though, cause that is so nasty if you don't do that. Like, you know how many people feet? Oh, so that first night, everybody was kind of like whispering around the room, like um. We're just talking about like how long that took on the process and 
yeah how everybody was struggling to get up the stairs it was kind of laughing sneaking a little bit but after that we was out may 23rd was on a tuesday that was that day i was just talking about now we're on to wednesday may 24th so i put what we did at 5 15 recruits got up on our own and got ready and then at 5 30 our sergeants came in yelling telling us to hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up and they were like let's oh let's oh let's oh if y'all know who that is yeah you know if you know you know but um they also told us that morning they were like don't be waking up early this and this and that you wake up when that red light goes off and all that good stuff so we didn't wake up early anymore we just got back in bed but um yeah so 5 40 left out to line up and stuff basically a bunch of waiting around and they assigned child jobs let me tell you military is hurry up and wait that's you're literally gonna learn that to hurry up and then wait all day my y'all feet your feet is about to be hurting you're gonna be standing for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours at parade rest the whole time. You're gonna be standing with your hands behind your back the whole time. You're gonna be standing at parade rest the whole time. You're gonna be like so burnt out, just tired in the hot, humid heat with no wind, no cool air, nothing. Okay? When I tell you it's hot, you're just gonna be standing there. And you don't even know what you're standing there for. I still don't know what we were standing there for. But yeah. So, child jobs. I'm pretty sure y'all heard. Your child job is like basically the people that bring in the flight or dorm into the child hall. It's to tell the child hall people that we're ready to eat. It's a whole thing. You gotta walk in and be like, dorm 3 by one is prepared to enter the dining facility. I don't even know all the words, but it's... It's some stuff like that. You got to do basic movements and all that good stuff. So if you want that job, have at it. But it's a pain in the butt. Okay. Um, I was laundry, laundry team, but we'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, so that's when they gave out child jobs. Um, yeah. Um, I put seven o'clock. I think we have breakfast, and I put it was trash. For breakfast, I had two bites of egg, one piece of bacon, one French toast, like four potatoes. I put in parentheses, it was so nasty. Um, I put, well, the French toast wasn't that bad, but everything else was bad. I mean, tight, because everybody was saying the breakfast wasn't that bad. I'm not gonna lie, it was like, it wasn't horrible. Like, I would say breakfast was the best meal, but it wasn't that good either. So don't go in with high hopes like I did. I was like, okay, I can, you know, at least I'm gonna have like some good food. Um, yeah, so then I put it at 7.15, we lined back up. We lined back up and did a bunch of nothing. <laughs> I put, okay, so I don't even know the times anymore. So I'm gonna just say what I did. We got issued iPads. So your iPads, trust me when I say you can't get on nothing but Serago and settings. And even the settings is limited. So don't think you can go on there and figure some stuff out. No. It's just Serigo, which is, it, which is what you're going to learn on. And then there's settings. And that's just on there. I don't know. Just because. Alright, so... Um, I put they did a civilian bag check, empty out everything, and they'll tell you if you can keep it or not. So you're gonna go back to your dorms, and they're gonna tell you to get your bag that you brought with you. They're gonna tell you to unzip every single pocket and dump it out into your boat bag. Um, and then they're just gonna come to each bed and literally be like, throw it away, keep it, or put it in your locker. Um, and when I say keep it, I mean just put it back into your civilian luggage, and then they're gonna lock it up in the closet thingy. But yeah. Um, and then I said we had lunch and dinner. So for lunch, I didn't write down what I had. Or dinner. Wait, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a stress, a stress control class for 30 minutes. So we had our first day of school. That's crazy. We had it that soon. I didn't even realize. But yeah, we had our first day of school. Um, school was death by PowerPoint. 
And if you don't know what that means, you'll soon learn. But basically, it's just you sit in a room and uh, your instructor or a teacher or whatever is going to come in there and they're going to read off the PowerPoint. They're going to teach you and you're just going to be fighting for your life to stay up. Literally, like, you know, like people going to be touching you, bumping on your shoulder. And see, going to be coming in, like, smacking on the desk, sleep type. Like, you got to be up. So all I'm going to say is, like, take notes or doodle. I don't know. Don't talk, though. You can't talk. And there's no, like, phones or anything. So I would just say take notes. Um, what I did is, like, I would just perfect my notes. So I had, like, color pens. And I would just, like, make the most beautiful notes ever. Um, that kept me up. I just like to write anyway, so that wasn't too, too bad. Um, and then I said we got our protein bars for the first time. Those are really good. I like the strawberry and the peanut butter one, but I'm not a big chocolate person, so the chocolate ones was not out. And we got our flight number, flight 402. Um, and we got our brother flight, or joint flight, I guess you could say. So your flight is going to be who you're with. It's going to be who you're with majority of the time. Like, y'all go to chat together, y'all go to appointments together, y'all march together, y'all go to march practice together, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, the only time you're with your dorm is when it's lights out. Yeah, or when you're doing like your dust downs and details, all that good stuff. So, yeah, you're with your flight majority of the time. You're going to make really good friends with them, so, yeah. Now on to Thursday day three of boot camp so what we did we woke up and we marched to the clinic it was yeah it was the clinic um we marched there we didn't really know how to march yet plus we were like still in civilian clothes so we was kind of just walking but yeah um i don't know i think i said this already but have some comfortable shoes when you ship out because me i had some air rags on that wasn't the comfortable, the most comfortable shoe. So, make sure you got some comfortable shoes on. We had breakfast. Um, so, for breakfast, I had one French toast. I rated it a five out of 10. I had a bacon, rated it a three out of 10. I had grapes, rated it a 10 out of 10. I had hash brown, rated it a 10 out of 10. And I had a cup of water, zero out of 10. And I had a cup of orange juice, 10 out of 10. When I tell y'all the water is horrible, the water is horrible. They don't want to throw up. It's thick and hot, okay? Like, it's the most disgusting water ever. It's worse than Florida water. And Florida water is bad, okay? Like, ugh, it just makes me want to throw up. Thinking about it, it's so bad. Like, you're going to get used to it, but it's so bad. Um, but yeah, the orange juice is pretty good. A lot of people say it's too, like, uh, too citrusy. But that might want to like overly sweet orange juice. I want it to taste like orange juice. So yeah, breakfast was pretty good this day. Um, and then I put March to flight. I don't know what that means. Maybe we marched as a flight. But yeah. Then we were issued our PT gear in a green bag. And this is when we found out we had PT the next day. Everybody was so excited. Um, and it wasn't even like real PT. It was just like they were showing us stuff. So for lunch, I had pizza. I rated it a six out of ten. I think it was like the the school pizza. You know, like lunch pizza. Um, I had green beans rated a five out of ten, and then I had water and orange juice, same ratings um, as last time. And I had grapes. Which is a 10 out of 10. So if you can't tell already, I get a big bowl of grapes with every meal. Because it's like, you can't mess up grapes. Like, you know. Um, And then for dinner, I had a, some potato wedges. Oh my gosh, 9 out of 10. Potato wedges are so good. They were so good. I had lasagna, which was a 9 out of 10. I had grapes, a 10 out of 10. And one cup of water and a couple of issues. I'll put how I felt. Today wasn't too bad. My feet was just hurting because we stand around a lot. At the clinic, we got four shots and gave blood. And everyone was super excited for PT. So, yeah, like I said, we found out we had PT the next day. So, everybody was super excited about that. And it's like, well, girl, why are you excited for PT? I don't even know why we were excited either. I 
feel like it's just like a thing where like oh we're moving up in the game you know like we got pt now um and then as far as the clinic yeah we got four shots four shots two in each arm and what you're gonna do and it's so crazy because during tech school i worked at this clinic um the same exact clinic where bmt people come in uh so crazy but i'll tell y'all more about that when i'm talking about tech school but yeah you're gonna walk everybody's in a straight line and there's a station well one station on this side one station on this side of your body and then you're gonna walk up and you're like just shooting you shooting you you just gotta stay still with your hands down to your side and it hurt okay and i hate shots so it really did hurt um at least for me so that is all I wrote down in my book, which was just Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we have Friday and Saturday to talk about still. But this is where, like, I kind of just try to remember. So, um, we got assigned jobs. So, they're going to walk down, like, your bay. They're, there's two bays in a dorm. So, you have, like, your A bay, your B bay. Um... They're all in the same dorm. Like, you can get to each bay with just, like, walking across. Or walking around the middle of the dorm. So, there's, like, this wall. And MTIs are going to sit up there all the time so they can talk to both bays. But, yeah, you can, you just got to, like, walk around it. You'll, you'll know. But, yeah. So, they're going to be like, who wants the day room job? Pick that job if you want an easy way. I didn't know that. I didn't even know what the day room was. But it's basically this room where y'all gonna have like meetings a lot. Pick that job because all you gotta do is sweep the floor, make sure the furniture isn't touching the wall. It's very easy. Um, then you have your bay crew. Pick that job too. All you gotta do is make sure like the shoes are laced right. Everybody's shoes is laced right. Make sure their shoes are aligned correctly. Make sure the beds are aligned evenly. Um, sweep it. All the good stuff. That's a pretty easy job too. You got your hallway crew. Y'all gotta make sure the hallway mirrors are clean. Yes, you have mirror, full body mirrors in the hallways. And then you have your laundry crew. Me. Do I... It wasn't like too, too bad. It was stressful at times just because there's 46 girls. Clothes you gotta wash. And I know y'all probably like, girl, that is nasty. There's gloves. Um, but that was another thing too. Like, I just... I don't know. I felt like... I felt like I was okay with being part of laundry crew. Because I got to make sure my clothes were being washed properly. Like, some girls is lazy. They could just pass your clothes back out to you and they'd be dirty. You know? But, um, yeah. So, I just felt okay with knowing that, like, my clothes were being washed properly. Um, but, yeah. Like I said, at times it was stressful. Because everybody was like, I need this. I need that. We don't have this. We don't have that. And I was just like, y'all get in here and wash 46 girls' clothes. Not I didn't do it by myself. Like, I had a whole crew. And then I had like an extra crew because I had a utility crew. And utility is the same room as laundry. So we all could just kind of like work together most of the time and got stuff done. Like pass out laundry, wash laundry, uh, pass out cleaning supplies, which is part of utility, stuff like that. And then you have your bathroom crew or latrine. I say don't call it a bathroom because they're going to be like, is there a bath in there? Then don't call it a restroom because I'm like, do you rest in there? Yeah, I rest in there. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so latrine, you gotta be a latrine crew. I hate cleaning bathrooms. Like, if it's not my bathroom, I don't wanna clean it. That's nasty. You gotta clean up shop. <laughs> up to y'all. But yeah, so that was that. I was trying to launch a crew. Not too bad. That whole week, you're gonna be learning drills. I fell in love with marching, drill, whatever you wanna call it. I love it. I love it to this day two MTIs and their march was so clean they was always so smooth and like you would just like look at them and be like my march gonna look like that one day like you're gonna add your own sauce to your march and it's just gonna it's gonna look great you're gonna have fun if you're coordinated you're really gonna have fun with that there's a lot of yelling that first week it's gonna be the most yelling you ever heard in your life they're gonna be yelling at the stupidest things like I think it was first week and we was learning how to like get into elements and um formation and all that and i think i had like moved at the position of attention my mti he came screaming he was like Pillar, don't move in my formation 
he was just like, I was like, oh, like he was like in my face. And I'm, I'm, you know, I gotta keep a straight face. You gotta hold military bearing. But in my head, I'm like, oh, sh like he was like in my ass up. And I would say like, that was like one of the few times that I ever got yelled at. I didn't get yelled at much. Um, but yeah, he was just yelling. He was like, don't move in my formation. Who told you to move at the position of attention? Like he was just going off and off and off. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so that happened. Like I said, they're going to be finding any and everything to get love. Like if it's a piece of lint on the floor, you're going to skip like up, okay? Like they're going to light you up. And uh, their favorite thing to say, they're going to be like, are you stupid? Because, like, you know, it's the Air Force, you're supposed to be smart or whatever. And, like, one little thing, they're going to they gonna think you dumb. Like, they're going to be like, are you dumb? Right? Um, but, yeah. So, that was that. I forgot to tell y'all, but that first day of PT, it wasn't real PT. It was, like, an introduction to PT. So, they're going to teach you how to count for PT, how to do all the exercises and stuff. But, uh, yeah, the way you count, it's just, like, the person going to be standing up here on the little podium thingy and he's gonna be like next exercise is the push up and you're like push up and he's gonna be like ready begin one two three one one two three two one two three three yeah <laughs> it's gonna be like that and um if y'all could tell like the my voice changed when I went from like my very first one to my last one. That's how you know it's the last one. Like they'll tell you how many to do, but you can just hear the change in voice because the beginning is I'm like one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two. But the last one is always gonna be like one, two, three, like that. Um, but yeah, what else? You're gonna get issued a bunch of stuff throughout that week. Oh my gosh, y'all, I remember I, we were uh, getting issued, like, our, um, our headphones and adapter for our iPad, along with a bunch of other stuff, but, yeah, so, you have to have the adapter to use the headphones, because there's videos, there's videos to listen to, so, one day I was like, actually, when we was emptying out, they was like, telling us how to put it in our book bag and all that good stuff, right, and there's like, I got your adapter. I'm looking around like, oh, sh I don't have an adapter. Like, oh my gosh, I lost my adapter when I say I didn't say nothing that whole time entire boot camp until like one class. I think I needed them or something. And I want to say it was probably like fourth week. <laughs> and I was like, um, Sergeant, I don't have an adapter. Well, I told my Sergeant, I gave my report and statement, all that. But yeah, I just told him like, I didn't have an adapter. Um, I told him I never got issue one. He was like, why you didn't tell nobody in the beginning? I was like, um, um, <laughs> I was tripping out. I don't know. I don't know what I said. He bought me one. So, that was that. Um, yeah, and I wrote down putting your own swag on your marching. I already talked on that. But, yeah, you're going to put your own little touch on the marching. So, you won't be like everybody else. And, I think that's all I got. Um, so that was... That was week zero that was from tuesday all the way to saturday and then my next video i'll start on sunday which will be week one i'll start on sunday and on that saturday and yeah um i really hope i'm not leaving nothing out i don't think i am i think i pretty much hit on everything but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe make sure you subscribe and turn your post notes on so y'all can see the rest of like the boot camp experience you know what i'm saying so y'all don't miss out um, but yeah, if y'all shipping out soon, I used to hate when people tell me this, but you got it, okay? And I'm gonna just leave it at that, I'm not gonna overdo it, but you got it. Uh, stay strong, all that good stuff. What else? I think I wanna do like what I packed for boot camp. I think I wanna do that video pretty soon, so that'll be coming up too. Um, I got a lot of videos I wanna push out. I'm trying to stay up with the consistency, so I'm about to edit this video, push it out whenever it's time. But yeah, so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on all my socials. I think that's it, y'all. So bye!